you know, they got an excuse on, hey, you're doing a great job, but we're firing you. They were completely satisfied, completely satisfied. Matter of fact, I got an email I want to read you that we received here at Wayne's Lawn Service at 4.43 a.m. this morning. 4.43 this morning, this phone, this email comes in. Wayne, I've made the decision to cancel my lawn service treatment. It's nothing to do with the quality of WLS, exclamation mark. My retirement budget is tight and I need to cut costs, at least for the time being. Do know I have appreciated your lawn services and professional manner with customers. Thanks again. She's obviously satisfied, but she's no longer loyal. So the question is, what are you doing and what can you do to increase loyalty from your customers? You know, you you look at why customers fire somebody, right? And, I mean, we're kind of getting down a little tangent off of this. But we always think it's something other than what it really is, and that's how we respond to complaints. And that kind of takes us back into the bed maintenance thing, man. You know, why do we want to risk the loyalty over something like bed maintenance that's generating just a few dollars a year when, as a whole to our company? You know, so the the main thing we got to really look at is, and ask ask yourself this, what are you doing to create loyalty? Some of the little things that we can do, man, there's a million things, right? It's a million things. It's not one thing. But one of the little things that we can do is simply respond to customer complaints. Because think of yourself. How many times haven't you been mad at somebody? You had a problem, they resolve the situation, and you go by again. When I say go, go B-U-Y, by. Go spend money again with that same person. When you look at statistically about cancellations across the service-related industry, this was something I read off U.S. Uh, News and World Report. They were talking about not specific to our industry, not specific to the lawn and landscape or snow and ice management industry, but strictly specific to the service-related industry. And it, and I'm going off the top of my head. I didn't write this down then or now because it just popped into my head talking about it. But I do know it was well over 68, 65 68%, well over 60% of customers that fire a service provider, the reason they do that is because of their unwillingness or untimeliness to respond to a complaint. 